Aymar and Julian is a uh, professor, yeah, Professor Kyung Jun Lee, uh, who is the who is the director of a uh, user centric artificial intelligence institute, and uh, he he is the guru of AI in Korea, and uh, he is well known around the world. Uh, he had the uh, most advanced application award on artificial intelligence uh, from the Association of American Artificial Intelligence three times gold medal, three times gold medal in the world. Nice to see you. Can you hear me, Julian? Amazing, yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm on. Okay, yeah. Hello. <laughs> very, very nice to meet you. Yeah. Very nice uh, to meet you. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes, yes. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay. So let me uh, introduce uh, the user sensor artificial intelligence briefly. Uh, I distributed uh, one page uh, of our uh, working draft. Actually, so uh, as President Park introduced, uh, I uh, have experience get receiving the uh, the innovative applications of artificial intelligence award from the American Association for Artificial Intelligence. So this August we are applying the fourth award. Uh, so this is the uh, current draft, the first page uh, uh, today I share with you. So the title is Deploying uh, Federate Learning and NLP-based Multi-Merchant Recommendation Engine with a Service Enhancing Privacy, Synergy, and Sustainability. This is the, uh, the, the exactly the current system uh, we uh, we have been developing and uh, we are now uh, operating. So this is the federate learning based and natural language uh, processing based and this is for multi-merchant environment, not single merchant environment and this is uh, basically recommendation engine. Uh, it's like a chat GPT or GPT Four engine, so, it, so you know the GPT 3.5 or GPT 5 is a natural language based uh, engine uh, using transformer model. So our system also uh, you is using transform model, the same model with ChatGPT or GPT 4, but we are advancing more uh, to the next level, the federated learning. Federated learning is the uh, cooperative learning between individual, among individual, or among the businesses. So we don't want to extract their data from individual, nor from uh, businesses. So uh, the individuals and business have their own data in their own local site and in their own cl private cloud. And we are sending our AI model to them, the individual or small business and they can let the AI model train on their own data and they return the only the AI model, not the data. Uh, so they can uh, preserve or enhance privacy and it, this kind of uh, platform promotes the synergy with among individual and among businesses and we believe that this platform can contribute to the sustainability of the digital economy. So our system, so this title actually includes all of the all of the features uh, we are uh, going to implement and uh, develop. Develop. So this is the first page. Uh, so yeah. So. The proliferation of AI has brought forth promising prospects for business and 
to install their marketing performance and deliver personalized service, thereby contributing to increased sales. But, but for the small and medium companies, they cannot do that. They do not have much data and they do not have much good high-level AI expert. So our system is for small and medium business, mm -hmm. rather than large corporation. Mm -hmm. So, but we give the opportunity to the large corporation in Ghana uh, to operate this kind of new platform. Yeah. So this paper should be finished by the uh, mid of, of August. Yeah, so uh, it's, uh, as I told you in lunch time, is our uh, fourth uh, challenge. And let me uh, move to the slide. Then, uh, user centric artificial intelligence. Uh, there are so many researchers and developers contribute to, to the uh, project and the system. And so, what is user centric? Actually, user centric AI. Uh, uh, came from user-centric payment. So what is user-centric payment? Uh, so President Park and I coincidentally did the same thing. So he, President Park in the business side and I in, uh, in the academic side. So in 2006, uh, our uh, members, our members in our university published the papers on payment or payment and receipt business model and seamlessness and privacy enhanced ubiquitous payment. So uh, the old model is the, that the users, the payers' information is going to merchants. So their payment information can be misused. Yeah. But in our user-centric payment, the merchant information is going to users. So not payment information, not receiving account information. So, uh, in, in this case, our credit card information is going to merchants, mm -hmm. to, uh, to other third party. So, they, some bad actors in this sector can misuse our information. But it, in our user-centric payment architecture, the merchant, the account, okay. is go, the account number is going to payer, individual, so we can, the payer cannot misuse yeah. Yeah, the receiving account yeah. Yeah, because it is not payment account. Mm. Yeah, so, so it is very interesting. Uh, President Park, the, the, this company, Harris Infotech, and me as a professor, the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's why we met. Oh. Yeah. Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the payment, uh, uh, this is the paper. So uh, it is the start of the UC AI. So three years ago, uh, actually about seven years ago, uh, President Park uh, gave a lecture uh, to the students of Seoul National University, one of the best universities in Korea. Uh, about so he he at the time gave the vision of UC AI, user centric artificial intelligence, and now I had a role to implement his vision. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we uh, think that uh, UC AI has a three core concepts. The first one is minimizing the user use of user data for developing artificial intelligence. Uh, and uh, we believe that the data of the users and small business should not be gathered from on the platform side. We should minimize the use of individuals' information and business information. Then, instead, we should believe that the AI model can be shared among the business. Then, the small and business, medium business can have a strong AI without any data exposure, without any skilled AI expert. So the small and medium companies and individual businessmen, business person can collaborate with our uh, platform. And the uh, third one is uh, the AI should contribute to the uh, fulfillment of users' 
objective, not business objective. So it is our ideal actually. Uh, so, so we think that user-centric AI is the AI with a user-oriented objective. Um, but we were surprised to see that there are some similar initiatives worldwide. Mm. So we are we are very happy, and uh, we we are now collaborating with international experts. For example, the Dr. Wilgen Schmidt Huber, uh, so called the father of the deep learning. Mm. So. Uh, father of AI, uh, so uh, President Park and Dr. Wilgen Schmidt Huber uh, are the co-chair person of the so-called UCAI Forum, User-Centric Artificial Intelligence Forum. So, and even the World Economic Forum uh, said the same thing. So, he, that it, his briefing paper said the lesson is that let's stop talking about data sharing. Uh, so we, yeah, last year we found this article, so we are so surprised and happy. Yeah, uh, so we we are not wrong. <laughs> yeah. We are right. Yeah, we, right. we are in the we are in the same uh, right direction. Yeah. So, and New York Times also uh, report that the, there is some methods to use our data without actually seeing it, something like that, and. And there are so many scientific research papers uh, implementing this idea. So in the machine learning or artificial intelligence side, uh, the methodology uh, have been called as federated learning. Federated learning. So federated learning means that, so let's assume that there are three hospitals. So they have customer patient data in the hospital to make strong AI, the hospital should share their data with a big entity. But it is not legal. The hospitals cannot expose their patient data to other entity. They cannot. Yeah. And in the business uh, interest, they do not want to share their data with the other hospital. And even the patient do not want exposure of their private mm -hmm. medical record. Mm -hmm. So no one wants data sharing, mm -hmm. but we need strong AI for progress. Mm -hmm. So in this case, instead of sharing the data, they have, they maintain their own data in the, inside their hospital. Mm -hmm. Instead, we, uh, we, sending the AI model to each hospital. Then the hus each hospital can train their AI model with their own data. Then actually AI model is just number. The number of, the, the just weight. So they, they are resending, returning the weight to the platform. Then with the three set of weights, we can have the weighted sum of the parameters. Okay. Can yeah. I just, can I just, I'm trying yeah. to conceptualize yeah. in my mind. So there are three of us, three hospitals yeah. Yeah. like this. Instead of sharing my patient's data yeah. with yeah. other this, entity, with yeah. other entity, yeah. Yeah. I'm using AI mm -hmm. to gather the data to create information and that information i'm transmitting back to yeah. the central entity without personalizing the data yeah you, so you i wouldn't know if you your medical record but i know not that the information it is ai model it's yeah transmitting ai models okay along the but without using personal data, data. yeah data. Yeah. I get it yeah. so you are empowering all these people to have their yeah. own yeah. ai programs yeah yeah and then all connect to us. Yeah, yeah. So when you say you opinion to me, you don't reveal your data in your brain. Yeah. But the current model reveals all, all the, the data. data. Yeah. So you are trying to protect, protect people's privacy, data. Yeah. Protect privacy, protect your still, asset. Right. Yeah. 
protect the privacy, protect the economic asset, which is data. Yeah. Okay. Then how, how does the data collaboration come in? Because at some point, each hospital needs to collaborate, right? So how does the collaboration happen? This is the, the, the middle entity. Yeah, that is the global model, the entity. So if I move... Algor it is called algorithm factory. Okay. So if I'm in hospital B and I move to hospital That's A, algorithm factory. how will the AI, the, how, the, how the AI model um, be able to recommend anything that was done for me in hospital B and hospital A? As a patient? Or? As a patient. Uh, as a patient, uh, we don't know, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. It's not meant for the patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. But in hospital B, I had malaria and there was a drug that was administ administered to me that helped me. Yeah. At that point, the AI, the, the AI model has learned it and uh -huh. knows that this drug is good for me. Yeah. If I move to hospital A, we don't want to hospital A to repeat the same, um, give me a different drug. We want hospital A to give me the same drug that hospital B gave me. So that's where the middle and federated model happens. Comes into play. So that's where that information is being downloaded into this middle entity. So basically that middle entity will tell hospital B that to treat malaria, use this drug. Right. But it will not tell you, it will not tell you that you, uh, a patient okay. with so hospital A, A yes. Yeah, it's not. It's just telling you that this is the treatment for malaria based on the information that Hospital A gave to the federated model. What if this drug, so it doesn't take the user into account? No. You are protecting your user. Your what if this drug is, not, is, is good for? I mean, I get you. What if maybe you as a as a patient can use the drug but I can't because country. I have yeah. allergies as well. Ah, that's it. Yeah. So the model download? Okay. So the first one, the model download, the blank model download, okay. and model learning, model okay. training, okay. and parameter transmission, and the model integration, and model ah. download again. It's a, the iterative, repetitive mm -hmm. process. Then the, each hospital improves their AI model continuously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, in United States and uh, United Kingdom, they uh, collaborate for mon money laundering uh, prevention, anti money laundering. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, can I just go back to one mm -hmm. more slide? Mm -hmm. The previous slide. Mm -hmm. So in the anti-money laundering domain is the same. There are many banks. The banks have very small amount of money laundering cases. Okay. So uh, the financial regulatory uh, government, they want to share all the data, but it's banks right. refuse yeah. to mm. share data. So uh, United States and UK uh, collaborate by this method, federal learning method. So the, the leader company in the United States is Consilient, and the Consilient and Harris Infotech is now developing Korea market, Korea anti money market together. Okay. Yeah, so le last month, Consilient CEO came to Korea, and we, we, many banks uh, we discussed. Mm. Yeah, so so our yeah. cooperation in Ghana mm. can cooperate with other countries. Okay. Yeah. And next Monday, the vice president of uh, auditing office, national auditing office mm. of Korea, mm -hmm. uh, uh, meet me. Okay. Uh, is going to meet me so to uh, AI to develop AI based auditing system for Korea. Uh, So we think that AI sharing is the new and easiest way of collaboration. So AI sharing solves the data sharing issues and you can utilize data uh, at the same level. So, so that's why the, our paper is the enhancing privacy and synergy and sustainability. So we believe that this architecture can 
contribute to the privacy of individual and small business and synergy among the business and the sustainability of the, the ecosystem. And our, uh, this paper is about the commercial domain, not hospital, medical domain, not financial or banking domain. We have been developing for the uh, commercial domain, small and medium sellers. Yeah, because this company is payment company, so this company's connection with small and medium uh, yeah, businesses. And you know, the payment company has the transaction data. So the data has who, what, but bought something in some store. You have three kinds of data in one record. So the customer A bought the product B at Merchant C. Yeah. Okay. So this it is natural language data actually. Mm -hmm. If it is the single merchant problem, they will maintain the, the information at the product code and, and customer ID. Yeah. But in our case, mm -hmm. we should deal with multi-merchant information. So we, we use the natural language themselves, mm -hmm. not the product ID. Mm -hmm. so, so the data, the Ghana chocolate, mm -hmm. not product ID. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So some store, store can say it is not Ghana chocolate. Mm. In other stores, Ghana chocolate, something like that. So we use the, the natural language themselves. Okay. So that, that's why NLP based, NLP based, yeah. and yeah. and we, why federal learning? Yeah. So the small and medium business, even though the largest business do not want to share the. Yeah, transaction data is very private data, so they do not share. But they, but paradoxically, they want strong AI. <laughs> yeah, they do not want to share data, but they want strong AI. So we should solve this kind of dilemma. So uh, this platform should be based on federated learning and natural language based multi merchant recommendation. So in the hospital case, there are so many uh, academic papers published in the Nature. You know, Nature is the uh, world best academic journal. Uh, so there are more than five and ten <laughs> academic best papers published in this topic. So this is the typical example. So uh, in this case, there there have been there are twenty hospitals, and they have. So some hospitals have 3,000 cases, patient cases, and some small hospitals less than 1,000 patient cases. And in this case, uh, the federated learning, so the, this green line is federated global model, and the blue dots are the local model's performance. So as you see in this figure, every hospital's local model uh, so the global model excels the local models. Yeah. But, but very, it is very interesting to see that the largest hospital has the, the performance very close to the global model. Yeah. So the largest hospital does not want to okay. yeah, collaborate. Mm -hmm. But small and medium hospitals One. has a wider gap. Yeah. So they, they need to collaborate. Mm -hmm. They need to participate. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this architecture is sh for small and medium businesses, and this this figure is also very interesting. But every hospital uh, does not want to share all the AI model. They, some hospitals think that our local AI model is ours, so I do not want to even share our AI model. So they. So it, uh, we uh, ask them to share only 25% of their parameters. Mm. Okay. But the problem is almost the same. Okay. Because the, the number of parameters is about, about 60 million. 60 million 
parameters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 25% percent only 50 million. The randomly 50 million parameters shared and weighted average. Mm. The global model has the same performance. Okay. Yeah. So so the 25% percent shared model cannot execute it locally. Mm. So it is it is useless. Yeah. Uh, alone. But but we have if we have 20 local models, then it can be good. Yeah, it can be good. Yeah. We have 20, 25 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then So essentially then that model will end up taking out the big right. the big right. it will end up taking over the big Yeah. 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 So So if you if you aggregate all of those together, they will yeah. end up taking out the big people, the big dogs. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is global, the global yeah, model, yeah. actually, yeah. without data sharing. Yeah, without it. So yeah. as time goes on, yeah. as this happens, AI yeah. sharing happens, we will both be able to overcome yeah. Yeah. So we have uh, about three choices. Okay. Data sharing, okay. AI sharing, okay. and standalone development. Yeah, yeah, standalone development. Yeah. Yeah. But in this case, we need AI experts, actually. Yeah. AI developers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should have our own system, mm -hmm. each hospital. So it is very costly. It's costly. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the performance is very low. Yeah. yeah. Then they, are, they have two, two choices, data sharing and AI sharing. Yeah. Data sharing is slightly higher than this performance. Mm -hmm. About, for the, about, so the data sharing is 100%, mm -hmm. then AI sharing is about 97, 98%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and look and local model and global uh, AI sharing model is about thirty percent improvement okay. of local model performance. Okay. It's almost uh, similar okay. in academic journals, okay. top journals actually. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we are the, uh, applying this methodology to commercial domain. So in this case, the data, as I told you, the transaction data, customer A, product B, merchant C, okay. yeah, that data. So it's it's a just natural language. It's like just document. Yeah. If, if you see the your receipt, then it's a natural language document. Mm -hmm. So we'll train our AI model with the receipt data as well. Mm -hmm. So. We uh, we call it uh, GCI. So GCI. So GCI is actually the, the resembling the GPT. The GPT means General Pre-trained Transformer. We, so in this case, General Commerce Intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Commerce Intelligence. So the same transform model. And so so our strategy is to. Develop and maintain high performance commerce engine. That and based on the engine, we can derive very various kinds of functionality. For example, the 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 target marketing, brainstorming, product brainstorming, demand forecasting, product bundling, cross selling, event promotion, something like that. So, with the same engine, with one engine. We can derive many mm -hmm. many services. You know, with only GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 engine, we can apply many kinds of functions. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, just, it's the same actually. Okay. So we are very happy to see the emergence of the chat GPT. Yeah. For example, uh, last year. Many people did not understand our approach. Oh. GCI, GPT, they do not know. That's but GPT. these days, every people know, knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Hundreds of derivative services mm -hmm. can come. So we are now uh, deploying our system to the Ulsan pedal. Ulsan pedal means payment and delivery, actually. Pedal uh, in Korea is a kind of Kind of, yeah. And Ulsan is one of the uh, largest metropolitan city uh, in Korea. So uh, in this case, we, we are using AI recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
And now we are uh, working with BBQ, the one of the chicken. largest chicken franchise in Korea. So more and more uh, business partners uh, oh, participate. Yeah. 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 So currently we we are sharing the data, but in the meantime, some partners do not want to share the data. So in that case, we can apply the federated learning. Yeah. So if they agree to share data. Then okay, so if we have trust each other, then okay. okay. But if we find some partners do not want to share their data, we can do with federated learning. Yeah. So we are very flexible actually. Business cannot share the your customer data because of the uh, regulated by the government, okay. protect the privacy. So this uh, this is some uh, purchase record and AI recommendation. Learn your vision yeah. and recommend yeah. you. Yeah. And this so, and our our engine can recommend some bundling, mm. so you can. Yeah. So for one customer, uh, if we find a good product, two products for one customer, then we can make bundle. Okay. Yeah. Bundle recommendation and membership discount and cross -sell selling recommendation. Yeah. So payment company is working with various companies, so we need to promote their cross selling and their automatic collaboration among the sellers. Okay. Yeah. By AI engine. Mm. So it's ChatGPT, uh, generated pre trained uh, platform, mm. yeah, with GCI. And so, we, so B2G service is a product recommendation, bundling, cross selling, event promotion, and, and B2B service target marketing, something like that. So, with the same engine, we can make yeah, very easily the, the marketing functions, marketing services for the customer and for the businesses. The, the target marketing. So, yeah, it, it, this uh, slide explains for this user A, the, our AI engine recommend this product. Then, for the merchants of this product, we can recommend this customer. Mm -hmm. So with a strong product and recommendation engine for multi-merchant environment, then we can reverse mm -hmm. the function into the Multiple. target marketing mm -hmm. uh, services. So then so then the merchants who have would know the type of yes. customers that buy their own product. Yeah yeah. Then uh, if we have lots of inventory we have to Spread yes. and uh, sell yes. at the same time is yes. in a short, short period of time. You have to do the effective target marketing. So, could, mm -hmm. will is it possible that the merchants mm -hmm. will also know that user A likes dumplings? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then maybe they can start producing dump, making dumplings. Yeah. Ah, so you mean the merchant? Currently, do not produce dumpling, but yeah. You know that. A lot of people like dumpling. Yeah, it is a good idea. It is actually brainstorming, actually. Product brainstorming. Product brainstorming. Event promotion. So, we, some time, day, week, that we can, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, so, there's. Uh, AI and you recommend. Korean made Ghana chocolate to Andrea, mm -hmm. but Ghana doesn't have that kind of product. Mm -hmm. That means it is a new product idea yeah. to mm -hmm. purchase. Yeah. Yeah. So our approach is to make strong AI engine for this commercial domain, then it can be used any kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Brock Brand to me. So it's a very interesting example we experienced. Uh, one day, our AI engine recommends Roger chicken set. Okay. But in, in that case, any merchant produces this, this product. So it's a kind of error. 
It's kind of hallucination in ChatGPT actually, because there is no real world product in its recommendation. Yeah. But in this it's case, important. but we can use this hallucination as a new product idea. Yeah. <laughs> so in our engine, with this uh, output, we we are trying to find the most similar product with this hallucinated product. <laughs> But the hallucinated product itself can be used for brainstorming. Mm -hmm. yeah. The product is not ready yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then, but then, but then the merchants will have an idea yeah. to create yeah, to like this it. product. And it's great. And yeah. the BBQ chicken the fries, uh, chicken franchise, already announced uh, this rose top chicken rose top something like that. Yeah, so this is a very interesting yeah. thing. Incredible. So general commerce intelligence and we will platform has a GCI engine and the all the merchant can share, can own, yeah, can yeah. use this AI engine. Yeah. yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. The ChatGPT is owned by open AI and the all merchant just uh just consumer actually. But our AI engine they trained by their own data by federated learning. So they can claim their ownership actually. Yeah, a part of ownership. So that's why we say share the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, are, we share AI, yeah. we share service, we share customer contacts, something like that. So we are sharing the contact point. So there's the core yeah. concept of yeah. our the yeah. So exclusive platform doesn't expose the merchant to customer, customer to merchant. Never but, allow the but we are the promoting yeah. the contacting, uh, the direct contact. Mm. So Ulsan Pedal and BPQ and 7-Eleven uh, are now uh, are our, our uh, partners. But they are data sharing now. No, 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 no data, data sharing. sharing. Yeah, so data sharing is the last step actually. Okay. Andra, Andra and I, today we met first. Mm -hmm. We do not share our data. Mm -hmm. So we, but we now share our intelligence and yeah. know-how. Yeah. But if we, we are very close to each other, mm -hmm. you will show your data. pictures, <laughs> your data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so data sharing is the last step. Mm -hmm. But many business urges business to share data first, but it is not, yeah, not rational and, yeah, yeah. Sometimes even the husband and wife never share the full <laughs> <whole> data. Yeah. <laughs> old password. Yeah. 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 And we are going further uh, to, to the, the digital me, the Ample uh, digital me uh, services. So digital me uh, is that the this time we maintain user state, health status, financial status, mind status, something like that. And the digital me wants to improve the user state according to user's objective. Uh, so memory, health, finance, knowledge, and beauty. So, uh, so we are uh, developing this digital me algorithm. So we developed the AMCO architecture, aim, measure, predict, evaluate, and recommendation. So we, if we want to improve something, then we should measure, and we should have some aim, the objective. Can we, can we um, use an example? So like, yeah. if I want to improve my health. Yeah. yeah currently we are now experimenting, experimenting with high blood, Pressure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. So you take readings yeah. of your blood pressure. Yeah, yeah. And then based on that, you predict. Yeah, we, we predict the next blood pressure. So if it is high or risky, mm -hmm. then we should say something okay, to so our user. Okay, okay, so you recommend, let's say, maybe. Recommend some action, uh, action or Medicare or something like that. And do you recommend that based on 
um, some experts advice yeah so let's say there's a hospital that knows how to treat high blood pressure very well would you yeah, yeah, recommend yeah. based on what that hospital has recommended or how do you make the recommendation yeah oh you're exploring it it's new right uh so yeah, it's a very good question so actually we 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 will have the large language model, healthcare large language model. Now we are training our healthcare large uh, language model. He doesn't know the current status. Tomorrow we will report mm -hmm. in the morning session. Uh, so we uh, already trained the, the large language model for healthcare domain already, and and we will integrate the digital me algorithm and the uh, large language model. So we can uh, provide the conversational healthcare, and then so the I as an individual uh, needs some privacy in my health problem. So now I do not, I cannot speak to any anyone actually. Yeah. So many people will talk, want to talk with AI, the local AI. <laughs> So I give my health data to my local AI in my smartphone and we can have conversation very frequently, every day, every hour. Okay. And if it, we, if my status is going some above threshold, mm -hmm. then we, it will advise me to see the doctor. <laughs> so it is natural collaboration. Uh, it is not violation of law, I think. So it's just local advice and the physical hospitals can mm -hmm. uh, get benefit from this architecture. So this uh, digital me architecture can be applied to skin aging, obesity, low scale, blood, blood pressure, blood glucose, so many kinds of uh, domain. So if we have some digital device, the, the smart device, then we can integrate the service to our platform. But in this case also the paradigm is the same. The blood pressure data should does not have to be shared with our platform. The data can be stored in the local yes. device. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. So existing digital health platform assume that all the data is ours. Mm -hmm. But they are not wrong because they do not know federated learning. Mm -hmm. Federated learning is just born at 2017. This is very new technology. Yeah. And recently their performance is proved. Uh, proof. Yeah. So the past digital health platform doesn't know mm -hmm. uh, that uh, algorithm. Mm -hmm. So our uh, new platform, our new methodology can do that. Okay. So we don't need any data actually. Yeah. 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 And actually this this gets rid of the conversation that a lot of people are having about data privacy. Yeah. 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 It so solves that data. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Europe, Europe is very strict. Very yeah. strict. Very specific yeah. in the, the data. Yeah. 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 Although, yeah. yeah, individual privacy and national data sovereignty. Yeah. yeah. All of yeah. 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 So our yeah. platform is from free from the kind of regulation yeah. we don't want individual data we don't want national sovereignty mm. yeah. we can protect the national sovereignty of the data yeah. and individual privacy yeah. Yeah. data doesn't need to move yeah. instead ai move, yeah, AI move. Yeah. so this is the only one platform mm. connect the world yeah. keeping the privacy and the ownership of data and uh, keeping the sovereignty of each country and they connect the world and the last one we uh, are doing is actually he doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow we yeah. report that actually yeah. this is the 
Pulse. Yeah. Yeah. You got the word. Pulse is even message. Uh, message engine. So, mess, yeah, marketing okay. or camp, political campaign or something like that. Very important. Okay. So with the chat GPT, yeah. so, so we we with the, we are now developing this engine. Mm -hmm. So in any domain, marketing domain, politics domain. When will it be ready? Yeah. Soon. Oh, uh, the, the first version is yeah, it will be ready. But in two hour, two months, in two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. We will, we will improve elections. Yeah. Before elections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will improve our uh, engine. We support John. Yeah. So, <laughs> so these days we are working studying the persuasive yeah. persuasion theory. Okay. Okay. How can we persuade our people uh, to our message? Yeah. So, so we we can use uh, their social media post, and we can use their process history uh, so we if we can even use the the email id yeah. yeah any kind of information any kind of public information of the users uh, so we do not want to use private information and if, even though even we use private information we do not say we do, we do not want to uh, make my, the customers feel bad. Yeah. yeah. So that's the persuasion. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. So when we meet some people, we know his or her public information and private information. But with the proper mix and proper strategy of messaging, we need to say the proper thing. Yeah. So this, this is our uh Aim. So our engine, so we call it persuasive message engine. Yeah. So we will use the generative AI like ChatGPT or something like that. So based on our own engine, or on or uh, using the outside ChatGPT or any other uh, foundation model, and uh, we will generate personalized and context aware. So, so yeah, so that and the kind of engine. Then uh, it will be very. It is the same. So I, I told you that we have the GCI engine, mm -hmm. and we will have the new engine. Mm -hmm. for, for example, PME engine, PME. PM engine, something like that. Then with this engine, we can generate many kinds of services in various domains. Marketing domain, yeah. politics domain, yeah. education domain, some uh, yeah. 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 premium marketing. Premium <laughs> marketing. <laughs> so this is the actually the adapting to current situation of the ChatGPT phenomenon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we had very much many experiments. How mm. can exploit the current technology, the generative AI technology. So we wanted, for, for example, we wanted to make the first generating personalized target market, target marketing and event promotion. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. Wow. So it is one of uh, the direction, but okay. uh, we decided to make this engine first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. First. So first okay. see message engine first, it, then we can apply this engine to other okay. yeah, yeah, domain. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your thank yeah, you. Uh, attention. Yeah. Hi, how do you like it? Hi, Ayman. Ayman. Hi, Ayman. Are you there? <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> Ayman. Ayman, can you hear us? I'm on. 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 I'm on.
Can you guys hear me? Yeah, it's, it's breaking a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, how was the, how was the lecture? Interesting, very interesting to, to understand mm -hmm. the whole idea and concept of it. Are you understood? Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. You have many ideas to make business? <laughs> Plenty, plenty, plenty. Twenty, twenty, twenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Plenty, plenty. Sorry, my English is too bad. For any, yes. Let's do it in time for our next election. Yes, yes, yes. Especially the PME. Yes, yes. Honestly, it would. Yeah, there's personalized marketing. Yeah. Marketing. So we'll go and put it to NBC. John Mahamas. Tell John. Tell John, we have a big, 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 strong weapon. Yes. We the election. Yeah. That means strong leadership in Ghana to make Ghana the best country in the world. And right now, I'm pretty sure he's going to get a lot of funding. Election yeah, because, yeah, because everyone wants yeah. MPP out. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to get money first from so put ten dollars each. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is genius. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. So I hope uh, so that that uh, you make some of the summaries. This yeah. afternoon and evening, yeah. Yeah. and tomorrow we have rap of session. Yeah. 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 What time will be good for a rap of session tomorrow? Maybe morning or afternoon? No, morning. Morning. Morning, morning yeah. is good for you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. That means about uh, 10 30 or? Okay. Yes, yeah. 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 And then we go to 7 Eleven and okay. to see yeah. how to yeah. buy Ghana. Yeah. Ghana how to buy Ghana. <laughs> yeah, that will work for us. It's good prep? Yes. Okay. Well, I think tomorrow we have to leave 10 p.m. to yeah, the airport, right? Yeah, yeah, the time is ready. Okay. Oh, well, on the flight time? It's 1, 1 a.m. Ah, I see, so 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. you leave. Yeah, yeah. 10 p.m. Okay, uh, give a big applause. Applause. <laughs> I'm very happy to 